I 
Yeah. 
Femenene. Kanisi, she, you can come, and your husband. Begin, don't make late. Put him out in the wind and rain 
The light kid turned in Krishna's names, so it was done in vain. Piranya Kashi Pudanya Pralade He struck a column with his fist, but the Singha appeared. He was in by day, was in by night. Was it on land, it was it on sea, was not by animal, was not by man, he was killed by the supreme personality. Bola bola, chanting, chanting, chanting the names of the Lord, chanting, chanting, chanting the names of the Lord, chanting. Chanting, chanting the names of the Lord. Chanting, chanting, chanting the names of the Lord. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Go, Pramante, Hare Hare, Pralad Maharaj Ki. Mambudhi Prabhu has come. Thank you.
Agyanatmirandhasya Gyanan janasalakaya Shakshurun militam jena Tasmai se gurave nama Bancha kalpataro bhyasya Kripasintho bhyayevasya Patitanam pavanibhyo Vaishnavibhyo namo nama Namo Mahabhadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishna Ya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gaurati Se Nama Gurave Gaura Chandra Yaradhika Yai Tadalaya Krishna Ya Krishna Bhaktaya Tadavakta Ya Namo Yang Prabhrajanta Manupeta Mapeta Kritam Dvaipanyano Virahakatariyajurava Putre Titanmetaya Tarvobhinidu Tam Sarvabho Taridayam Munimahanutos Tavai Vasmi, Tavai Vasmi, Najivami Tayavina Iti Bhigyaya Radhe Tannay Maam Charnanti Khe First of all, my Koti Koti Dandot Pranam into Lotus Seat of my spiritual master, Nitya Dila Pravishtu Hongishnu Bhasushma Bhakti Pragyan Kishoka Swami Nara and said, Koti Koti Dandot Pranam in the Lotus Feet of my Shiksha Guru, Shri Shmat Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj. Yesterday, I told that how Brahma did as charities and then Krishna, that is Narayan, told him the secret things, Tattak Jnan, with Big Jnan, that is praying, and its how process, that is Bhakti. And then he told that now, no false ego, that I am creator, independent creator of this world, I am. This false ego will not come. And then by the power of Supreme Lord, He created all this world. This growth and settled body of jivas. And now He saw that oh, they are servant of Krishna, male servant of Krishna Jiva. Now they have been entangled, they have forgotten these things. And now they are suffering endless pain of endless birth and day. Old age, the pain of taking birth and so on. So he thought, I should discover anything that they should be liberated from the sufferings and they should have bhakti. And then by his manishaya, intelligence, he thought three times how they can be liberated from the sufferings. And then, after three times, he discovered etat ban nirvidyamananam ichhatam akuto bhayam yogi nam nip niranitam hare namanu kirtanam. Those who are akam, those who are sakam, had so many desires, worldly desires. Those who have no desires, those who have bhakti, for all, 
हर नाम संकीर्तन भक्ति कीर्तन क्या भक्ति इज बेस्ट मेथड टू बी लिबरेटेड फ्रॉम दिस एंडलेस लाइफ अकामो सर्व कामो मोक्ष काम उदार धी कि प्रेम भक्ति योगेन जजतम पुरुषों पर ऑल्सो अकाम सकाम वर्भक्त एवरी वन इन दिस वर्ल्ड इट हैज बीन डिसाइडेड दैट वनली भक्ति कैन रिप्लेस इट एंड बाई भक्ति साधन भक्ति देन भाव भक्ति and thus prem bhakti they will achieve and thus the jiva 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 will come in their transcendental service or form and thus they will sat there in a golo vrindavan for ever so he saw so many things and then decided right? then we are coming to this point that brahma decided that without bhakti we cannot be liberated only no karma no gyan no yog no tapasya nothing else only bhakti yog and bhakti yog but what is that bhakti yog parasa has told paranurakti rishvare bhakti अनुरक्ति अनुरक्ति मीन्स लव एंड अफेक्शन टू द एक्सट्रीम पॉइंट लव एंड टू ईश्वर टू सुप्रीम लॉर्ड यू हैज टोल्ड ऑल्सो इट हैज बीन टोल्ड लौकिकी वैदिकी वाक्रिया जाग्रिय के मुने हरी सेवा नुकलेव सा भक्ति सात आज्ञा भक्ति वट इज भक्ति लौकी की जनरल एक्टिविटी लौकी की बैती की वट आज रिटर्न इन वेदास वट इज रिटर्न इन ऑल पुराण शास्त्र एवरी फेयर लौकी की बैदी की वापी क्रिया ऑल दीज एक्टिविटी If it is done for Krishna to please Krishna, then they are bhakti. Otherwise, not bhakti. Hmm? Also, in the Shrimad Bhagavat, it has been told. Savai para, savai punsa paro dharma, jato bhakti rato khaje ahe tukya abdavahita ja bhakti purusho. Here he has told two things: one, sarup lakshan, and other, tatas lakshan. Sarup lakshan means intensive characteristic, intensive characteristic or intensive nature. Then, what is param dharma? Param dharma is most highest. सुप्रीम धर्म ऑफ जीव सवई पुंसांग परो धर्म या पुंसांग मीन्स लेडी मैन क्रिचर्स पशु पक्षी कीट पतंग और टॉप टू बटम दे हैव राइट टू डू भजन सो सवई पुंसांग परो धर्म Surely this is only one method, no other way. That is why he has told, "Sab bhai nishyaar the, so definite, and other than no way." So bhai kunsang paro dharmo jato bhakti ajokhaje, supreme Lord who is not in invisible by mind. आईस अवान मनसो गोचर है अधोक्षज अप्राकृत कृष्ण हि सर्विस विदाउट एनी वर्डली गेम दिस इज भक्ति बट शिलरूप गोस्वामी 
He had learned from Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself, Krishna and Radhika both combined, and he made a very, very beautiful eh? definition. Definition. definition of bhakti. What is that? Anya bhilasita sunya. Jnan karma dhyana pratam anukullene krishna anusilanam bhakti ruttama. You should all try to know its meaning, hear its meaning, and engage yourself in that kind of bhakti. You should tell the meaning. That Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur has done. Guruve Gauri Chanda Radhikaya Tadale Krishna Krishna Bhaktaya Tadabhaktaya Namo Namaha. So this verse is described to be the paribas of the definition verse of the Srimad Bhagavatam. Savai Pumsam Parodharma Yatira Bhakti Adoksaje Ahitiki Apitiyat Yanapma Sam Prasiddhati. So Guru Maharaj was just explaining, Sutta Goswami says Savai. Savai means definitely. Not maybe, could be, perhaps. But Savai Pum. Oh, Anya Bilas. Anya Bilas Sunyam Gyana Karmadi Navitam Anokulena Krishna Anu Silanam. So Sri Rupa Goswami has given, there are many different definitions of bhakti that have been given. For example, Savai Iswaratat Anurakta, that supreme absorption in the Absolute Lord is called Bhakti. Also it's been described Sarvu Parivanin Muktam Tatpara Tatpena Nimalam Rishi Kena Rishi Kesa Sevanam Bhakti Uchate has also been described in other places. What is the definition of devotion? That when the living entity, the soul becomes free from his material attachments or his material identity and with his spiritual senses engages in the sense in the service of the senses of the Supreme Lord. This has also been described to be called bhakti, isti svarisika raga parama tata. Absorption in the Supreme Lord has also been given as one definition of devotion. Yet, Sri Vishnu Chakavari Thakur has said, despite the many definitions of devotion that are given in Shastra, that Sri Rupa Goswami has given the topmost benediction, uh, top, topmost de definition of devotion. What you can find in other definitions are also included in Rupa Goswami's Anyabi Lasita Sunyam, but Rupa Goswami has given something which has not been given in other verses. Therefore, this has been given by Sri Rupa Goswami in his book, Sri Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. So there he has said, Anyabi Lasita. First, there is the intrinsic qualities of, of devotion, or the internal characteristics of devotion. He's also given two symptoms that are externally associated with devotion. So Krishna Anusilanam Bhaktir Uttame. Sri Goswami has said that devotion performed by the activities of the body, mind and words as well as the cultivation of transcendental emotions performed for the happiness of Krishna. This is called Uttam Bhakti or pure devotion. So the intrinsic characteristics of this verse is Krishna Anusilam Bhakti Uttame. Anusilanam means the cultivation. Some people think that bhakti should be simply devoid of envy towards Krishna, but this is not sufficient. For example, a tree, he may not hate Krishna, but it does not mean he is performing devotion. Therefore, simply an absence of unfavorable emotions towards Krishna cannot be called bhakti. There must be some positive cultivation of activities for the happiness of Krishna. Therefore, Rupa Goswami has said, Anu Silanam. Anu infers the idea that one should be performed under the guidance of the spiritual master. Anu also gives the idea of there must be a continuous flow. Not only once on the Sunday feast, once a week I perform bhakti, but 24 hours a day, seven days a week, devotion should be performed in a continuous flow under the guidance of pure Vaishnav. For the happiness of who? Not for the happiness of my wife or my children or any other living entity in this world. What to speak of even a powerful demigod like Brahma or Shiva. Rupa Goswami has rejected all these other objects of devotion and said Krishna Anusilanam. Even other incarnations like Narayan or Nisringadev or Bhagavan Ramchandra 
or Madhuras Krishna or Dwokadish Krishna all have been rejected. Rupa Goswami said that Krishna, only Sri Swayam Bhagavan Brajananda and Sri Krishna, only he is to be served. He is the object of love. Therefore, Anusilanam has two divisions, Bhavarupa and Chesterup. Chesterup is of two divisions. <coughs> Chesterup is of two divisions. One is in the stage of Sadhana Bhakti Bhajan, one is in the stage of Bhava Bhakti. And then Anusilan also means the cultivation of devotional sentiments that, it, that come after the stage of Bhava Bhakti. Also there is Nivriti Rup and Pravriti Rup. Means activities performed that are favorable for devotion are also to be considered devotional and also endeavors by which one tries to avoid non-devotional sentiments or activities. This is also to be considered a cultivation of devotion. For example, on a courtesy we should not eat grains. Therefore, Pravriti Rup means for Krishna's happiness I am giving up grains on a courtesy and for Krishna's happiness uh, for for Krishna's happiness, I am also giving up grains in the courtesy. Does that make sense? <laughs> for Krishna's happiness, I will follow a, I will follow a courtesy, and for Krishna's happiness, I will give up grains on the courtesy. Therefore, that is also to be considered Baba uh, Chesterup endeavors. Therefore, activities should be performed not simply for the happiness of Krishna. Otherwise, they could be an overextension of the definition or an underextension of the definition. For example, activities that may be performed and Krishna may achieve happiness by those activities, but this may or may not, this may not be bhakti. The example given by Sri Vishwanath Chakravati Thakur is when Krishna entered the wrestling arena of Kams Maharaj, Asane Malinam. That time, the wrestlers, Charanamustik, they challenged Krishna, Oh, Krishna Balaram, you are servants of the king, Kamsa, therefore you should fight for his happiness. Therefore, Krishna and Balaram tried to avoid. We are only small boys, and you guys are like mountains. This is not a fair fight. Then Chalun Mustik said, No, we know that you are not ordinary boys. Otherwise, how you could kill big demons like Putana, Agasur, and Bakasur? Therefore, they grabbed Krishna and began trying to. They began fighting with him, head to head, shoulder to shoulder, arm to arm, knee to knee. They were dragging each other one side to another side. That time, Krishna felt great happiness because Krishna is one type of hero the topmost hero. Therefore, sometimes he also likes to engage in fighting. This is called beer ras. But actually, Chana Mustik, they are not performing their wrestling activities to give happiness to Krishna. They are performing their wrestling activities to kill Krishna. Therefore, even though Krishna felt happiness in fighting with Chana Mustik, we cannot say Chana Mustik were performing devotion despite Krishna's happiness. Because their mood was not to give happiness to Krishna, their mood was to try and kill him. Therefore, simply giving that Krishna may be happy by an activity may not in itself be an indication of pure devotion. There also may be an underextension of the definition. For example, Madhya Soda is tying Krishna to the grinding mortar and threatening to beat him, and Krishna is crying. Then someone may say, what type of bhakti is this? She is making Krishna cry. He is hungry and she is not feeding him. Therefore, it may appear externally that Madhya Soda is not performing devotion because by her activities she is causing Krishna to weep. But our Acharyas have said, no, Madhya Soda is definitely performing devotion because she is tying Krishna to the grinding mortar for Krishna's happiness, for his benefit. Therefore Krishna is not happy externally it appears with the activity, but Madhya Soda has performed the activity with devotion in order to benefit Krishna. Therefore these are the intrinsic characteristics of devotion. Means for the benefit of Krishna, not necessarily for the happiness of Krishna. <clears throat> then, devotion has two extrinsic symptoms. These will also be seen. Just like when there is a fire, there must be light. Therefore, along with these intrinsic symptoms of devotion, which are performed in a mood of to give happiness to Krishna, there must also be two other external symptoms. They are anyabhilasita sunyam jnana karmari anabhitam. Anyabhilasita sunyam. Means, devotion should be performed without any other extraneous desire means and unmixed with any other type of activity only pure devotion can conquer Krishna therefore devotion if it's mixed with any other endeavor then it cannot be called pure because it's mixed therefore bhakti mixed with other endeavors like yoga or tapasya or giving donations to the Brahmins or blah blah these type of things 
which is not in itself pure devotion, Rupa Goswami has rejected by saying, Anya Bila Sita Sunyam. Bhakti should be completely unmixed, it should be one pointed and pure. Then one may say, then why Rupa Goswami has only said Anya Bilas? What is the necessity for Anya Bilas Sita? Therefore, Rupa Goswami has said, sometimes a devotee, because he has no other recourse or there is some emergency, they may ask Krishna for some help. The example given of, Drop of Draupadi, she was being stripped naked in the assembly of the Kurus, therefore she prayed, Rako Sadanam Apto Jivato Hari. She raised her hands and prayed, Krishna, protect me. Therefore, it may seem this is not devotion because she is praying to Krishna for something for herself, but Rupa Goswami said, because this is in an emergency situation, therefore some concession is given. For example, I'm about to be eaten by a tiger and I pray, oh Krishna, save me. Bhakti is not lost because it's an emergency. Life is in danger at that time. Also, Bhakti should not be covered by Gyan or Karma. For example, we know there's many Kirtan groups in America and all around the world. They're also chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. It may look like they're performing devotion, but their end goal is to become one with God, to merge with God. Therefore, this cannot be called devotion because if you become one with God, you cannot serve Him. Therefore, devotion is there, but it's covered by Gyan, the desire for liberation. Therefore, this has been rejected also. And someone also may go to the temple, especially on the day of lottery, then he's bought a lottery ticket. Instead of giving one stick of incense, he waves five sticks of incense to Krishna. Oh, Krishna, if I win the lottery, I promise I'll give you half. Did I say half? I meant 10%. <laughs> Therefore, he is worshipping Krishna, he is performing service to Krishna, but his desire is his own material enjoyment. Therefore, Rupa Goswami has rejected both these things. But still, Rupa Goswami has said, Anavita, because one cannot live completely without knowledge, although some people manage it, some people cannot live completely without knowledge or without karma. For example, even breathing, even eating, even sitting, even sleeping, this is called karma. Therefore, the karma which is performed in a way which is favorable to Krishna, for example, I have to sleep, otherwise how I can go to Mongolati. If I cannot eat, then I cannot perform my devotion. Therefore, karma of eating does not cover devotion as long as it's performed in a way that is favorable towards the cultivation of devotion. Therefore, Rupa Goswami has given this and so much more that I've missed out. Anya bilasita sunyam jnana karma adidavritam anukulena krishnanu shilanam bhaktir uttama. Thank you.